G'day there guys, Hayden VK7HH here for Ham Radio DX and today I'm joined by Rolly ZL1BQDs. Rolly's uh, going to talk to us about some QSL cards, some logging, some awards and plenty of other things. I noticed you've got plenty of awards <laughs> in the background there Rolly so uh, hopefully you can show some of them off. Oh yeah, well greetings uh, Hayden, uh, great to be with you uh, mate and uh and talk about some of this sort of stuff. I mean, a lot of it's historical, really. Uh, and uh, um, I go way back to, well, very nearly 50 years in this game. So um, in the very early days, uh, you know, the, the, it's always been an adage, you know, the QSL is the last um, last courtesy of a decent QSO. <laughs> yes and no, and maybe. And... Uh, but traditionally, the QSL, the QSLing thing has been um, has been a, quite a part of amateur radio, and really, in lots of ways. Uh, nowadays, of course, all the a lot of the QSLing is done uh, by electronic means, e QSLing, and things like that. Mm. But um, there's still uh, a lot of guys that really, really enjoy getting a little bit of paper in their hand which says, "I have spoken to Hayden on such and such a frequency at such and such a time," and and uh, your mate down the road goes, yeah, right. And you go, mm -hmm. here's the piece of paper which shows you, right? And uh, and so in many ways, the, Q, uh, the QSL is used as, a, as documentary evidence that you have actually made the QSO that you claim you have made, mm. <laughs> which in, in a way is, is why uh, uh, one of the major things of having all these things, uh, which way am I pointing that way, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> one of the major things of having these things up on the wall behind me, you can see, you know, the, these um, certificates here are, are um, a DXCC awards, either on phone, CW, digital or mixed. And the black one in the middle, that one there, that's the probably, how can I get my finger in the right place, Hayden? That one there is probably the granddaddy of them all, and that's what they call the honor roll. So in order to get on the honor roll, you have to have worked every country in the world that there is, uh, other than uh, up to, I think you've got to be within 10 of the maximum uh, number of countries that are available. I'm, I've only got three, other, three more countries to get, which are, are proving to be rather difficult, particularly when one of them is North Korea and One's mm. Prater's Island, the other one, the Scarborough Reef. And I know there's uh, guys that are watching the channel now go, me, I got those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and, and good luck and so on. That. But that's yeah. a lot to, in order to get some of these awards, where you have to have a, uh, you have to have some sort of documentary evidence to, uh, to support your claim that you've actually worked those countries. Yeah. And so and so yeah, we have the, the QSL. The QSL and and has previous in in past has been in the form of a, a paper form of QSL. Nowadays, uh, and we can talk about this a little bit later. Nowadays, the QSL is in the main done by electronic means. You got yourself a lovely QSL card uh, printed. I noticed, and you made a uh, made a video on it, uh, Hayden. And good on you. Uh, let me show you my my very original QSL card. And uh, if I come over to there. Uh, that's this is one of my very original QSL cards, mm -hmm. and uh, oh, you got VK seven on there. I'm glad about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Uh, for those that are watching, we have New Zealand here, then we have one of our western suburbs over here, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> but I, I, I designed this QSL card because uh, we have New Zealand here, and then these lines radiating out and so on. Uh, uh, towards some of the de-expeditions that I was doing at that, at that particular time. So I've got ZL1BQD. Now, the reason why I chose, uh, I did a card similar to this, uh, because that uh, just by, it was cheap, and just by changing the typeset, uh, all of a sudden now I'm into uh, Western Samoa for one of the de-expeditions. I went up to Western Samoa, and, and um, same sort of thing for Lord Howe Island, and I shot up to Lord Howe Island there for a bit. And then um, once again, uh, the same card used for uh, Norfolk Island. And really all I'm doing is just changing the typeset. Mm. And, uh, and for, uh, again, for 
New Caledonia. So just changing the typeset using the same basic card, that made the, ch the printing very cheap. Remember, this is back in the 19... Um, 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 1981. Mm. <laughs> so we're back a bit. I was going to say, so you, you've you've done quite a lot of de expeditions and and stretching quite far back. So you've just reused that same card and yeah, just changed the change the call on the typeface. In, in in those days, yes, uh, I've done um, thirty eight de expeditions, uh, uh, Hayden to. Uh, 25 or 27 different countries. So mm. <laughs> we've done a few. So those were the QSL cards I used to use of old. And um, uh, uh, simply because it was a matter of uh, trying to keep um, costs down. I'll put myself up there so that people can see me. Trying to keep the costs down. And uh, because when you go on a de-expedition, you don't really want to spend an awful lot of money on, on expensive cards to spend out, uh, and send out you know, five or six, seven, eight thousand cards or so. You know, mm. it, it can be expensive. 